Hi, so I want to talk about this problem, which is we're given a particular language L, then shuffle of L is all the strings W, such that W is a permutation of some string in the language. So a permutation is just a reordering of the characters. So like, for example, if we have 0, 1, uh, 2, for example, then a permutation of this would be, oh, I don't know, 2, 0, 1. You just rearrange the the characters in whatever way that you wish. So what we're asking is, given any string in the language, I want to recognize every single permutation of, of that string and then apply that to all of the strings in the language. So what I want to do is I want to show two things, that if L is regular, then a shuffle of L might not be regular. So in other words, that the regular languages are not closed under this definition of shuffle. And uh, what we'll also show is that if it's a CFL, then it may not be a CFL either. So context-free languages are not closed under this definition of shuffle. So the first one is actually really easy to show. So uh, if I let L be uh, 0, 1 uh, star, then that's clearly regular because it's a regular expression I just wrote. But then if we look at what the shuffle of L is, so let's look at that. So shuffle of L. Then if I rearrange this string in any way that I wish, then I will obtain every single string that has the same number of zeros and ones. So this is all the strings W such that W has the same number of 0 and 1. And that's pretty easily shown to be not regular. And the way to show it is to choose the string uh, to be 0 to the p, 1 to the p, uh, because th not only is this string in the language, it has length at least p, then uh, by the regular lang uh, language pumping lemma, we will only be pumping in the 0 part putting more zeros in, causing uh, a different number of zeros and ones. That's pretty easy to do. Okay, so uh, what if we want to show that this um, kind of thing happens for context-free languages? If we apply shuffle, we get something that is not context-free. Well, I better not choose this, because uh, this uh, language is context-free. So that won't actually help us very much. So for uh, context-free, let's choose a language that is uh, already context-free but not regular, and that gives us a, at least some hope of getting it to be, uh, the shuffle of it to be not context-free. So I'm going to choose this language, which is going to be A to the K, B to the K, uh, C to the L, D to the L, where K and L are at least uh, zero. So K and L are just uh, arbitrary integers here. Okay, so then uh, I got to show you that this actually is context free. Then the idea is to make, have a variable make this part and then a different variable make this part. So the way to do that is I'll have S going to A, B. So A is going to make this first part and B is going to make this part. And that's pretty easy to do. So A is going to make A, A, B or empty. And then B is going to make C, B, D, or empty. And that's pretty easy to see. So it's clearly context-free, and it's not regular, so that gives us some hope. <laughs> so we, we always need a little hope for this. So let's look at the shuffle of this guy. Then what we'll get is we'll get every single string that has an equal number of A's and B's and an equal number of C's and D's, because we're just rearranging the letters of the, of the string. So we'll have W such that, uh, I'll just switch to a different notation here. So um, the number of A's in the string, so that's the notation I'll use, the length with a A subscript here. The number of A's equals the number of B's in W, and the number of C's equals the number of D's. Okay, so nothing too surprising here. So what I want to do is to, I'm going to call this language SL uh, because I don't want to write shuffle of L every time. So I want to show that uh, SL is not 
a sigma fell. Okay, so uh, what's the main idea here? Well, uh, it's actually kind of like this one up here, uh, this one, where we're going to pick 0 of one character and then, uh, the, sorry, p of one character and then p of the other character. The problem is, well, I can't pick a to the p, b to the p, c to the p, d to the p, because you can actually show that, that uh, you, will, uh, you could always stay in the language there. So the trick here is to have interleaved pairs of runs of characters. So instead of A's and B's together, or A's and D's at the end and B, or sorry, A's and B's at the end and C's and D's in the middle, because you can show that that's also a context free, I'm going to have A's and C's first because they may have different counts, and then B's and D's have different uh, counts, uh, possibly. So let's pick the string w equal to a to the p, c to the p, b to the p, d to the p. So I'm not going to go through the whole proof of this uh, because it's a pretty standard proof, but in order for us to be able to pump uh, this run of a's and this run of b's or the c's and d's at the end, we have to traverse past this gap of c's. And we, and that's just impossible because the length of the of v, x, y, where v and y are the repeating parts, is at most p. So it's impossible to cross this run of c's and hit the a and b in the same number at the same time. And even if you did that, then you would have all the c's here, but you uh, you never touch the d's over here. And so therefore, uh, there's no way to pump into the two required parts at the same time, or the same logic applies if we were in the C's and D's here. And that's essentially the proof that this shows that this is not actually a context-free language. So under this particular definition of shuffle, regular languages are not closed under it or the context-free languages. Under different definitions of shuffle, maybe, but in this particular definition, they are not closed. So hopefully that was interesting. Leave comments about this definition of shuffle in the comments down below or permutations. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.